All right, I thought I'd do a review. This is the uh, All Sports six inch long travel suspension kit. So if you're like me uh, and considering these, you're probably looking at this or the Jakes. I went with the All Sports because one, I didn't like the way what looks like on the Jakes that it sticks the front end out even further, about another six inches, which would make your turning circle really bad. Uh, and I just didn't like the aesthetics of it either. So maybe a few things that you weren't able to necessarily find online. I've got some pretty wide tires. These are like 22 by 11s. Um, I think they're listed as 23s, but they, they measure 22s. Either way, the, the front end, you can see that's the width, you know, just under kind of 52 inches all the way across. Uh, so it's not much wider than stock. The, the back is still just a little bit wider. I have one inch spacers on the back just to fill up with the, uh, the mud flaps here so it looks a little bit better. Um, but all in all, I really like the look. And these mud flaps still keep everything out from inside the cart. That was something else I was worried about. And I mean, I use the hell out of this thing. I've probably put, I don't know, maybe 200 miles in the past couple months on the cart. And uh, it's a 72 volt lithium setup with a Navitas AC drivetrain. So we do, you know, 35 miles an hour back in the woods. Um, we've caught air. We definitely bottom these shocks out all the time and it, it rides really smooth. So the front end, <clears throat> basically you can run over, you know, six inch curbs back there over big roots, bumps type of thing. You don't even feel it. The front end just glides over them. And I have the shocks kind of on the medium setting. Uh, I should probably stiffen them up a little bit. Uh, that rides really well. The back rides like hell. It has the heavy duty leaf springs and I'm on my third set of those because I keep bending them. It gives you a sense for how hard we drive the cart. Uh, so I'm gonna build a four link for back there. That'll be another time so I can stop destroying the rear end. But the front end is working great. Uh, a couple other things, reasons I went with this is I already had fabricated this winch setup, but I really like keeping it all sucked back and it's pretty easy to do. So when you have the all sports, you can still access these endpoints of the, the stock frame rail. And if you're able to fab something up, you can basically, you know, build above and below it and use a bolt to go through and hold this whole bracket on. And I think it just looks a lot cleaner than with the Jakes having that kind of tow hook sticking out the front and then mounting the winch on that. Hell, it's going to be sticking out 18 inches by the time you're done with it. So hopefully that covers a few points. The negative to all of these lifts is the, the turning circle. And the Jakes I've heard is even worse. So the All Sports is supposed to be the best, but I'll give you a sense for kind of how bad that is or maybe not how bad it is depending on your your uh, viewpoint but uh you know this is a basic driveway right you can kind of see the width i'm gonna just pull it hard left and see how big a circle we make right so go all the way left and i wish i knew kind of how it was before but okay so that's kind of the apex so to give a bit of perspective, that's a, a pretty wide circle, right? Um, I can measure it out a bit, but I would say from outside to outside, it's significant. Yeah, we're pushing probably 25 feet from about where we were on the outside to the outside there. So I'd say a 25 foot turning circle. That kind of blows when you're off in the woods and in tight quarters. But again, rides really nice. Um, the front end is still, you know, pretty darn quiet when I've had the other kind of, you know, six inch basic lifts you can buy on Amazon. They're like four or 500 bucks. Uh, I've broken those leaf springs that go in those lifts. They make all kinds of noise. So haven't haven't destroyed anything in here. All this stuff is, is pretty beefy. Um, I do tighten these bolts up all the time and I have the permanent thread locker on. Um, and again, these tires measure 22 inches. I think they say you can run a 23. 
I think that's in order to get full travel because obviously you've got a pretty big gap there. So um, I haven't had these rub, but I've definitely, when it's uh, when you're using up the suspension travel, it goes all the way up. So, you know, you could put bigger tires on if you wanted, you could probably run 25s and turn just fine, um, but not using all the suspension travel. Anyhow, if you got any other questions, let me know. I'll uh, update another video if I break anything on this and hopefully when I get the rear end set up it will be uh it'll be perfect so thanks